WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento with the mid-afternoon update for TFNN. I wanted to bring this to your attention that we are actually up in the green on some of these things after being sharply lower last night. We had a very bad day. Well, not a bad day, a down day yesterday. S&P down about 70, Dow Jones down about 600, and the NASDAQ down about 250. Uh, people have asked me, you know, why I don't speak more of the Dow Jones Industrial Futures or the Dow Jones Industrial. The main reason, folks, it's the fourth and most important of the four stock indices, number one S&P, number two NASDAQ. Look, number two, Russell, number three, NASDAQ, and number four is the Dow Jones. And the reason for the Dow Jones, it's less open interest for one thing, but it's basically a price-weighted index. In other words, it's the price of the stock in the Dow Jones that makes it work. So you look at Goldman Sachs, uh, United Healthcare, and Travelers, and a few of these other that are in there, and you're, you're Apple, and you're talking about 10 stocks out of 30 running the whole thing. It's bad enough with the NASDAQ. You got the NASDAQ 100, and that's only about 20 stocks. So by far, the S&P second is the Russell, and third, of course, is the NASDAQ, and fourth would be the uh, Dow Jones. That's the main reason for that. Nothing personal. Uh, about it at all. When they first started to do these stock indices back in 1982, I was on the floor. And the S&P was the only one they would get. The, the Standard & Poor's family would allow them to use their name and that, but the Dow Jones family was so against commodities that they didn't have anything to do with it. It wasn't until they became very popular at the Board of Trade with the NASDAQ and then also with the CME, with the which was the first one, which was August 16th in 1982, then it became very, very popular, and now they're household world, words, just about everything. So that's what we're seeing here today, a lot of activity. Uh, get ready, folks. You know, I don't believe that uh, we're looking for a crash. Someone asked that. I don't see any sign of that. It may happen, but I've been surprised before, but I don't see any reason for it now. We're just having normal markets that are correcting, listening to what the Fed is saying. Remember, folks, tomorrow the Fed's speaking, so there's going to be a lot of things going. And then the next day we have the GDP number coming out. So all that is going to be making the markets jump around. Nothing about any things with the uh, the war or any of this other stuff. I don't see any anything like that in the air uh, in these charts. They look a little bearish right now, but they certainly don't look uh, anything near uh, you know, looking at death's door at all. That's no question about it. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. 